hi all so today in this video we are going to see about what are the different ways in which we can start a process okay so this is a very important question as well so first of all the i have taken it i have opened a very new process model nothing has been configured yet in it and you can see here a simple form as well i have taken just uh, uh, written here is click here to start a process so first way to start process we are going to see from interface okay so let's no note it down like from interface and from interface two ways will be there to start the process okay so first is using the start process start process link and the second way is going to be start process okay so these are the two ways from interface we can start the process okay so let's do it so you can see here this is a very simple form layout inside the form layout and the two buttons are there for the button part and in the content just a section is there inside the section a card is there nothing else and here we are displaying click here to start process uh, in the rich text now if you see here this is the text and i want to start the process using a start process link so for that purpose i have even uh, taken a simple process model let's consider a script task is here nothing else is here <coughs> okay and let's publish it and let's publish it as well let me go to the monitoring as well so that when a process instance is started we should be able to monitor is at monitor it as well so this is the monitoring tab i have opened it okay anyway we can see the process done from here as well so now how to configure start process link so first of all you can if you go to see here rich text item here only link item is there okay so here you can see the link and here it is a start uh, process and link we can add it so when you add a link here see it will get into a link here right and uh, if you go inside the link it will tell like what label you want to give which process model you want to start what are the parameters of the process model as well you can configure it so let's say process model is there so my process model is this one but the best way to refer the process model is like let's create a constant for that otherwise we uh, okay so process model to start we want to be able to see it so let's create a constant for the process model okay so I, let's me name it as parent process and pointer something like this i have name it or let's remove this one as well and here in the type we will select the process model and here we will write the name i have taken ys under a uh, ys ways okay to start process this is the name what this is the name of the process model which i have given there fine now let's create it once i have created let's use this constant here in the cons bang this one so you can see this process is there now process parameters so process parameter and what is like how to give process parameter currently because in my process this is the process i have taken there are currently no variables right so we can just keep it null as well let's save the changes for now okay let's see like currently are there any instances there or not okay so let's go to the all process instances and let's refresh currently there are no instances at all so let's me click on start process so you can see here a new window has been started this is the general behavior of a start process link okay <coughs> and now let's refresh it here one instance has been came here okay now let's click on this one and you can see this process has been started with a start process link if we want to give any information from the interface as well we can provide it for example let me create a variable here to store the data okay and uh, let's give like a interface interface input something like this it is of type text and whatever the variable you have created make sure like it is parameterized so that we can access it from outside as well okay 
and now let's save and publish this process model and now let's go over process parameter how to give the value here so in the process parameter if you go inside the documentation you will see here it is a it will be given as a type of dictionary dictionary means what key value pair what is the key so whatever the parameter that you have defined in the process model okay so that will be our key okay and whatever the value that you want to give that will be your value obviously value only okay so testing start oh, come on start a process link that's it done let's save our changes okay let's once again click on this start one and once it has been started it will uh, let's see here uh, let's go back to our process instances and this time see a second instance is there and this time whatever the value we have provided it will be here see testing start process link it was parameterized so i was able to give from outside that's it so start process link is done right so this this part start process link has been done we have configured we have saw how can we do it now what about the start process see start process is a smart service and we can do it from the interface as well so for that purpose uh, here is submit button right instead of submit button let me name it as start process okay start process and start process configure into save into okay save into and here what we will do here is <coughs> So here in the save into value we have to configure our start process. So start process, a bank start process. Which process model do we need to start? So for that we have configured cons bank ys underscore parent. So this is the one parent process. Okay, now process parameters so we can give like process parameter here as well key value pair we have to just give here so just like this but this time we will give something else so that we can know like this has been started through the start process okay so started started through start process smart service something like this i have given here okay so uh, <coughs> no need you you don't need to actually save to start the process let me just start the process and see it hasn't taken me to the new interface or anywhere so it just start the process asynchronously in the background now let's go back here and check the instance a third instance is already present here and let's check the input what was there see started process through start process smart service right so we got the value from here so two parts are there and this part is as well done interface we have seen now the second part we will see from the process model okay so the second way to start the process is through the process model let's see that okay so for that purpose what we will do here is uh, uh, what we will do here is huh, in this is our parent process right now we have to see how to start the uh, processes we can also start through the process model as well so let's see about that so for that purpose what we will do here is uh, this is our parent process okay so to start the process here as well we can start the process through one way like uh, you can say uh, sub process okay so sub process is there and the second way is b is the start process smart service start process smart service so this is this is the second way to start the process so first of all we will see with the help of sub process so let's see with the help of sub process where are you sub process here it is now this is my sub process here okay so in the sub process it will trigger another process model it means that we will need another process model as well to configure inside the sub process so let's do it let's create another process model and just i will name it as 
test sub process that's it let me click on create now i have clicked on create and this here i what i will do here is i will not do much here just i will take a script task here okay and uh, let me just publish it and now once i have published it so what i will do here is i will go back to the configuration okay setup and here i can choose from the directory as well so i have written actually sub process so let me write it sub process here okay so really it's giving so many sub process ha test sub process that was ours let me click on okay and just okay done so our sub process has been configured now let me give a lane as well to look it much better okay so sub process so this is the sub process one and let's publish it okay and now let's debug it so once i have debugged it so you can see this process model has been started if we want to go inside this sub process we can go it we can also but there are currently no variables so currently we won't be able to see like any value is getting there even or not so what we will do here is let's create see this was from interface input i will create it for the sub process so let me get sub process and what i will i want to pass some value from the sub process to that process so let me hard code the value so here i will just hard code the value as passing the okay passing the value from a parent process okay and this value i want to see inside my sub process okay so now let me publish it uh but okay so inside the sub process i haven't uh, configured any i haven't configured any variable at all to capture that value okay so to store that value i want to do it uh let me from parent this variable is uh, like parent value it will capture the parent value let me just uh, publish it so this is as well published right now once it is published let me just debug it so now you can see here i have passed one value here in the sub process let me go inside the sub process and see whether that value is reflected or not so currently see here it is null it is not even there so what we can what has been actually done here is whatever the value that we have configured we have to set up the value here in the input tab so currently you can see here currently there are no inputs available because it is not able to identify any inputs but actually we have given one input here the problem would be like we have not parameterized it only when the value is parameterized the variable can be accessed from the outside of the process even okay so let me just uh, uh, parameterize it and now i will go to the properties once again click on setup refresh it and see this value is coming and this is the variable which is coming from my sub process parent value and here i will put it in the for the sub process okay so sorry sorry see process variable or enter and the sub process what i have kept here the variable as sub process ah sorry so this variable is actually whatever the value that we have put in the sub process that is the parent value is from the sub process actually i have named it differently so it got confused and the sub process and now let me just debug it publish it and debug it once again okay start process for debugging and you can see here now the process variable was fixed here passing the value from parent and we should be able to see the value in the sub process as well and see here parent value is not now null passing the value so this value is even accessible in the sub process okay so this is one way of doing it the sub process one so this is as well we have covered now the second method is through the smart service so let's take another line here only let's not change anything here and here we will do start process what we will do here is uh, we will 
here take a start process start process smart service so this is the smart service okay and here we will take a splitter okay and get outside the splitter there are just no condition here nothing is here it will just split the incoming part into the number of outgoing parts you have connected okay and now let's do it here and now let's configure our start process similar way whatever the interface we have configured same way here as well we can configure so either we can put a constant here or what we can do here is we can choose from the directory i haven't created any constant so let me choose from the directory only test sub process so this was the sub process i want to start okay and what parameter i want to give inside it so parameter i want to give inside it something like uh, what you can say here is in the variable in the sub process was parent value something like this so the parent value will be whatever the uh, value we have hard coded okay starting start process that's it so now let's save the value here and let's do it so <coughs> currently like two values will get here okay so let me just configure one more variable there otherwise it will let's publish it once and see how does it behave actually now i have published it and now let's debug the process and you can see both the process has been started okay passing the value from parent process and let's see what happened in the sub process so if i see in the sub process it has taken this value fine and what about this one has it taken that or not okay so here two instance was there okay at the same time two instances 828 got triggered let me first check the first instance passing value from the parent process only now let's check the other one i guess both of the time it has taken the same value it's a uh, see starting start process so it has taken for one instance it has taken this variable as well okay so this is how we can start the process through the start process as well so that's that was all for the part one for now we'll see more ways to start the process in the part two as well okay so thank you